गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द थर्ड लेक्चर ऑन एम्बेड सिस्टम डिज़ाइन कोर्स एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग द यूनिट वन विच इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू एम्बेड सिस्टम्स सो इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द थ्री फोर टॉपिक्स दैट इज डेफिनेशन ऑफ एम्बेड सिस्टम्स एम्बेड सिस्टम्स वर्स जनरल कंप्यूटिंग सिस्टम्स हिस्ट्री ऑफ एम्बेड सिस्टम्स एज वेल वी हैव सीन अबाउट क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ embed systems and in the today's session we will be seeing about uh, the three topics that is major application areas of embed systems purpose of embed systems characteristics of embed systems uh, the first one is uh, first uh, topic which we'll be discussing is the major application areas of embed systems there can be many areas where we can use the embed systems so some of them are listed here under uh, different categories uh, first category is consumer electronics you can consider camcorders and cameras under this one and in household appliances so whatever we can see daily in our lives that is television dvd players washing machine fridge microwave oven and uh, in home automation and security systems you can find air conditioners sprinklers auto detection alarms closed circuit tv there is television uh, cameras fire alarms etc and next in automotive industry we have anti lock braking systems there is abs engine control systems ignition systems and automatic navigation system and in telecom sector cellular telephones telephone switches handset uh, multimedia appliances or applications handset multimedia applications and in computer peripherals you can consider printers scanners fax machines as the embedded systems and next uh, in computer networking systems we can consider network routers network uh, switches hubs firewalls and in uh, healthcare uh, area or industry we can find different types of scanners eeg machines ecg machines and in measurement and instrumentation we have digital multimeters digital cros logic analyzers and plc systems and in banking and retail sector we have automatic teller machines that is atms and uh, currency counters point of sales machines and in card readers we have barcode reader smart card reader and handheld devices which can uh, read the codes and it coming to the second topic that is uh, purpose of embed systems so each embed system serves some purpose so the that purpose uh, can be classified like this one is data collection storage representation and data communication and uh, data or signal processing monitoring control and application specific user interface so you can consider any embed system so it may fall in any one or a combination of these categories so we'll be seeing in detail about each of them the first one is uh, data collection storage and representation so here we'll be seeing the acquisition of data from the external world and the collected data can be an analog format or digital format so you can consider any signals like uh, uh, voice signal video signal or any electrical signal all this are nothing but the sense data or collected data it may be an analog or digital form and uh, the data collection is mainly used for storage uh, or analysis or manipulation or used for transmission also and uh, the collected data can be stored directly on the system where it is collected or it may be transmitted transmitted to some other system and after meaningful representation they can be deleted so you can see a typical example of a digital camera so where it can uh, capture or we can say collect the data it can store the data uh, if it is using a card read a uh, memory card so it will store the data on that and it will uh, it is also used for data representation 
And next coming to the second one, that is purpose of embedded systems data communication. So here, uh, uh, embedded data communication systems are uh, deployed in applications uh, which are ranging from uh, complex uh, satellite communication systems to simple home networking systems. And the purpose of these is for uh, data communication. So they can use either wide interface or wireless interface. So if, if they are using wide interface, uh, they, they may have Ethernet RS-232 USB or IEEE-1394. And if they are using wireless interface, so they may have Wi-Fi, GSM, JPRS, Bluetooth or Zigbee. And uh, typical examples for this are uh, network hubs, routers, uh, switches, modems, etc. And uh, here is one such example that is a wireless network router. And next one, purpose of embedded systems, data or signal processing. So here uh, the embedded systems with uh, signal processing functionalities are employed in the applications which demand uh, signal processing like uh, speech coding synthesis uh, of data or uh, audio video codec transmission applications and uh, these are very complex computationally very intensive systems and uh, they may employ the digital signal process also for this one and here is an example there is a digital hearing aid so where uh, the person who is unable to hear the voice properly so uh, the voice is being amplified and uh, so that uh, that device may give the amplified data to the person and person can uh, hear what other persons are saying and the next one is uh, purpose of embedded systems monitoring so embedded systems which comes under this category are specially specially designed for monitoring purpose so they are used for determining state of some variables so using some input sensors so there is no control over the, the variables so whatever the sensor data is there so that uh, will decide the, the variables and uh, electrocardiogram is one such example uh, which is used for uh, monitoring the heartbeat of a patient and uh, for this uh, there are different electrodes which are connected to the patient's body and uh, some instruments uh, like uh, digital CRO, digital multimeter, logic analyzer so which are used in the control and instrumentation applications also comes under this monitoring purpose and here is an example that is a patient monitoring system uh, where uh, uh, the data which is collected from the the patient is being shown on this uh, patient monitoring system and based on that uh, the doctors may respond and give the proper treatment and next one is purpose of embedded systems control the embedded systems with control functionalities are used for uh, imposing some control over the some variables according to changes in input variables so embedded systems with control functionality contains both sensors and actuators and uh, the sensors are connected to the input port for capturing changes in the environmental variable or measuring variable and the actuators are connected to the output port and are uh, controlled according to the, the changes in the input variable to put an impact on the controlling variable to bring to the controlled variable to a specified range. So here is an example that is air conditioner. So if we see, an ex see this example we will clearly understand what is a controlling variable and uh, what is a specified range all that okay so air conditioner is mainly used for controlling the room temperature and uh, here the control we have the control functionality and uh, what we are controlling is the the room temperature and uh, how is that done so there is a thermistor in the air conditioner which will uh, sense the room temperature and uh, there can be a handheld unit there is a remote uh, by which we can feed uh, what temperature we require in the room and uh, there is a desired temperature and uh, the air compressor is nothing but the, the actuator unit and uh, that will be doing the actuation in such a way that the control uh, controlling element that is uh, room temperature is being brought to the, the specified range or we can say desired temperature 
set by the end user by using that uh, remote or handheld device. And uh, next we have purpose of embedded systems, application specific user interface. And uh, this uh, embedded systems are designed for specific application. And uh, this, can, this application uh, specific user interface uh, may have a keyboard or display unit. So it depends upon the application, specific application uh, where we are using that. So that uh, the user have control over the different variables by using that interface. So they are aimed to specific, uh, specific target of users. Why? Because as they are specific uh, to the particular application, so that will be uh, that will be targeting only to some specific group of users and you can consider mobile handsets and uh, the control units which are used in the, the industrial applications are examples for this uh, application specific user interface so why because in mobile you will be having uh, a display and you will be having a keyboard uh, so it is nothing but a user interface user interface where we can uh, do different things by using that interface and next uh, we have characteristics of embedded systems so uh, the uh, the characteristics are first one is application and domain specific so when you are saying application and domain specific uh, as we have discussed uh, uh, during the second lecture that is definition of embedded systems so or uh, the second uh, in the second lecture itself we have seen about uh, the differences of uh, general computing systems and embedded systems. So general computing systems, they can be, uh, they can do variety of tasks, but embedded systems are very much specific and do they do only specific functions. So that we can say that they are very application specific or, and also they are specific, uh, they are related to specific domain. So that the first one, application and domain specific the second one is reactive and real time so reactive means so it need to react uh, at a faster pace or we can say uh, it need to react soon and uh, real time means it need to do in the, the uh, as the time passes it need to perform that action uh, we can take the example uh, what we have considered earlier that is uh, air conditioner uh, what it is reactive why because it will uh, sense the temperature and it will react accordingly and uh, as it is done in the real time why because the sensing the room temperature and uh, controlling the actuation all this is in the all this is uh, done as the time passes and it will set the room temperature to the the uh, desired range all this is done in the real time so that uh, embedded systems are reactive and real time and next third one is operates in hash environments so this uh, hash environment means uh, we may be using in we may be using embedded systems in homes also uh, and they may be even operated in uh, very much uh, uh, where environments can be very much high or very much low also so that we can say that they are they are operated in Hash environment. You can consider the uh, the defense equipment where which employs embedded systems. They may be they need to be sent to some uh, high altitude where the temperature may be very much low, or uh, to the deserts where the temperature may be very much high. So they need to be operated in different environments, or we can say hash environments also. Next, uh, distributed. So. How can we say distributed means uh, so the data can be uh, the data as we have seen earlier uh, whatever the data collected is that that can be sent to a different location and uh, there it can be processed and uh, that can be uh, sent as a meaningful representation to some other location so uh, it is being distributed not it is done at the same point so for some of them it may be done at the the same uh, place itself but uh, it may be also distributed uh, why because the data is being transmitted uh, to different uh, different locations and uh, there the data is being processed and uh, it may be sent to some other location so that we can say it is distributed and next uh, small size and weight 
So for all the embedded systems, it may not be a small size and weight, but uh, but mostly we prefer to have the small size of an embedded system or uh, uh, less weight for an embedded system. Why? Because uh, it, uh, if it may be portable or uh, we can say we can carry it anywhere. So the, for that, uh, we can say they can be small size and uh, weight. And next one, power concerns. So power concerns means, uh, so some of the embedded systems may be battery powered. Uh, so that uh, the power is a very very important factor why because uh, uh, the power draining should be as much low uh, for the the battery powered systems so this is the these are the characteristics of the embedded system that is first one is application and domain specific second one is reactive and real time third one is operates in hash environment fourth one is distributed and fifth one is small size and weight and sixth one is the power concerns. So in the next uh, session, we'll be discussing about the, the quality attributes of the embedded systems.